He's 35M needy, moody, insecure and I38F don't think I need this after 9 months. TLDRAITA for putting my foot down. Protecting my sense of worth and telling my BF that I won't stand for his behavior or have I overreacted? He has always been super attentive and loving but sometimes to the point of it being too much. Especially in public and I've always felt this as a way of him telling people around us I belong to him. It became clear about three months into the relationship he is a very jealous and insecure person with the potentially to be controlling. I am a strong-minded woman who will not be controlled or cajoled into anything I don't want and I have told him as much. All his previous girlfriends have been younger and broke so he was very much in control in the relationship. Something that has stuck in my mind as a concern is that he's described them all as crazy. We have had a few issues since the beginning. 1. Him being irrationally jealous of co-workers and my ex and 2. Him being overly obsessed with watching what I'm doing on WhatsApp and 3. Him becoming insecure and moody if I don't reply to him fast enough when I'm at home or work. Mostly they've been resolved, as far as I'm concerned with me actually ending up having to hide my last scene on WhatsApp to stop him constantly watching it. On a couple of occasions when we've been going through one of his insecure bouts I've had my overnight bag packed ready to go over to his after work and have been told as I've got in my car that he wants to have a night in on his own. I'm not the sort of person to beg and plead with him to let me come over so have always replied with, right, okay no problem I'll have a nice evening at home with my dog instead, and started to make my way back home. Each time he's then responded with, well you can come over if you want but I won't be much fun, I won't be picked up, put down and picked up again at his whim so I've always gone home. After a couple months of everything appearing great, he's done it again. I take my dogs out for their last toilet break at 9 p.m. and am finished putting them to bed for about 9.45. He always messages during this time expecting a reply and is aggy when I don't. When I pick my phone up I see a message that says, night then, and it just makes me think uck. For God's sake. I reply saying good night and I'll see him tomorrow but he's turned his phone off. I am meant to be going to his for the next two days so get my bag ready. He doesn't message all day then as I'm pulling out of my works car park he messages saying he wants a night in on his own and he's not feeling great anyway. I reply with, okay I thought that may be the case just so you know I'll be staying home the night. After two, halfway home he says if I want I can come over. It's too late for that and I'm not being messed around so I say no. I'm going home. I explain how his actions made me feel but he doesn't see it. Now I'm the bad guy and he sees no reason at all for my behavior and I've ruined his weekend with his girlfriend. I'm exhausted just reading about this boy. How ridiculous he is acting trying to manipulate you. I'd just not respond. Yup. I'd ghost this boy. If he's exhausting you, it's not about him. He's not changing. So choose someone else. Your wish he trusted you and was not always randomly unhappy. Won't change. I am a strong-minded woman who will not be controlled or cajoled into anything. Then stop letting him manipulate you on the daily. You're too adult for him. Time to move on. Christ he sounds exhausting. No. You don't need this. Life's too short. Also. You are not a or his therapist enjoy life and find someone more, life affirming. As long as you're answering the phone, texts for this ass clown. He is still, controlling, you. Why have you wasted 9 months on his juvenile antics? Why are you typing out queries like this on Reddit instead of texting him that your relationship is over and you're moving on? You'd have a better sense of self-worth if you pulled the plug on this BS at the 3 month mark. Better late than never. 
Any reason is a good reason to leave a relationship. At any time, in any place, relationships are supposed to bring you up, not down, in ta. Erg absolutely no, never take him back, just break up over text and block his number. At 35 years old, this is who he is. Defined from his saying that his exes are crazy. I guarantee that no, they are not. Any man that defines all his exes are crazy. He's an immediate red flag and honestly I'd walk away at that very instant. All the rest that he does is surplus information for how much bad news this guy is. For reference, I've been together with my spouse almost 20 years now. My spouse never expected me, not even when we started dating, to reply to messages instantly, or even at all during work time, even at the evening when I was home and we didn't live together. My spouse would not be upset at all if I didn't reply until the next day. Also when we made plans to see each other. If we needed to cancel it was totally a non-issue. We never did the game of, come but don't but come but I'm mad. This thing this man is doing is manipulation. My theory is that you explained how his actions made you feel. And he absolutely does see it. But he won't stop because he's doing all of this on purpose. It's plain manipulation designed to confuse you. Having you walking on eggshells. And getting your mind to spin on how to appease him. Confused people don't act on their best interests sometimes and if a manipulator is around. The manipulator can act to make the confused person act in the exclusive benefit of the manipulator. Like I was saying. This man is absolutely bad news. Lose him. 1. He's 35 and acting 20.2. You're 38 and still putting up with this behavior and haven't dumped him? Wow. Be strong and move on. You can do better. Absolutely not. Leave. Not overreacting. He's 35? He's acting 15. This behavior will only get worse the longer the relationship goes on in heaven. Forbid you marry him. Ah, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. This is how abusers groom strong-willed women into putting up with their abuse. Classic narcissist traits. It never gets better. Save yourself now. The longer you stay, the longer it will take to heal. You must go no contact. Feelings are never wrong. Just are. Describe them all as crazy. That tends to be a bad sign. No accountability. Gaslighter. Resolved, as far as I'm concerned with me actually ending up having to hide my last scene on WhatsApp. That's not resolved emo. Won't be picked up. Put down and picked up again at his whim so I've always gone home. I don't understand this. Thinking is good to be alone bc or in a bad mood and warning someone so they can make the choice to be around you at that time isn't a bad thing emo. He always messages during this time expecting a reply. Have you explained you won't ever be a veil at this time? And I've ruined his weekend with his girlfriend. Have you explained that was his choice when he says that? He sounds like a giant baby and very exhausting. Girl you're too old for this nonsense. You don't seem to be aligned. Or even to like each other very much. There is nothing wrong with cutting your losses. What's the end game? He is not going to change if he is blaming his EXGFS. Then he probably doesn't have the insight necessary to change. Just be careful that he doesn't stalk you wjen you break up. He seems the type. He sounds a lot like my narc ex. The difference is I foolishly stayed around for years of this and it only kept getting worse. Since you're not living together. Thank God. Just go ahead and ditch him. He's going to turn on the love bombing and or manipulation techniques so be prepared for that. You may have to ghost him in the end. This behavior of his was exhausting just looking it over written down. I honestly wouldn't tell him you are going home. 
Tell him you made a plan B figuring this would happen and will be out. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.